power to resist my will is vanishing. Your will is becoming my will. Slowly but surely. Exactly as my voice tells you. Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. It has been labeled as the golden age of the cinema, filled with big stars and lavish productions. And during those years, hypnosis found a way to be included in many of these productions. Legendary German director Eric von Stroheim gives a masterful performance as Dijon, a tired magician who gives up his act to study the power of hypnosis and the mind. But jealousy soon clouds his judgment, and he begins to use his newfound powers to take his revenge. They're a, a dance team. What's the matter? Did I insult your husband or something? No, Tony, really. He, he's just a little aggravated, that's all. Uh, Don't take it personally. Yes, but I... I I'll see you around, Tony. I, I can't talk to you now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, what's this all about now? What's, what's eating Dijon? I never talk about my borders, Tony. Well, Vicky isn't just a casual acquaintance. She... Well, I knew her long before she got married. I read about her marriage in Albany. Jean was certainly riding high at the time. There wasn't a magic act in the country that could touch him. How... How's he been treating her? She's as nice as any girl that ever set foot in my house. And a fine wife. But he treats her like the dirt under his feet. Yes, I've heard about that. I understand it's been going on for some time. And a crying shame it is. He does nothing but sit in his room hour after hour, reading his books. What kind of books? Loony nonsense, Tony. Like one I saw the other day. The power of the mind, or some such stuff. It's hypnotism, that's what it is. But what's this hypnotism getting in? I wouldn't know that, but it's not getting me my rent. That ridiculous idiotic trash was your idea. You even had the nerve to try to involve me in anything as cheap as that. Suppose it was ridiculous and idiotic and cheap, as you say. You had tricks in your own routine that weren't any better. But I've outgrown all that hocus-pocus stuff. I'm now interested in things far more important than that. Yes. Power of mind, mind over matter, and all the rest of these books you pour over half the night. I won't discuss it with you. You're too stupid. Maybe I am. But it's also stupid to go on living the way we are. The trouble is you're forgetting that you're my wife. That's not true. Why did you try to belittle me in front of all those people? Nothing was further from my mind. But lately, no matter what I do or say, everything you twist into something wrong. You seem to think that there's a secret conspiracy going on against you. Please believe me, I'm not trying to hurt you. And nobody else is. You couldn't hurt me anymore. Nobody can. Well, then... What is it that irritates you so? The constant interference from you and everybody else. I have to concentrate on my work if I want to succeed. Or do I have to shut myself up in a monastery in order to do what I want? You mean you're studying? I... I don't mind that. But we can't live here forever without paying the rent. Mrs. McGaffey asked me only again yesterday. 
Why didn't she come to me? But you've paid what we owe her. No, not now. But she knows quite well that she's going to get it, all of it, and with interest if she wants it. I'll take care of everything when the time comes. You'll see. Ever since you've become interested in hypnotism. Hypnotism? Hypnotism is only the first step toward my goal. It's only the first physical proof that what I'm striving for is real and true. What are you striving for? I want to develop my mind spiritually. If I can do that, I can reach the very pinnacle of success. If I could discipline my mind above the ordinary finite thoughts, I would be in touch with the infinite. All material things would then take care of themselves. I don't understand you. Then if that's the way you want it, I guess that's the way it'll have to be. Where are you going? Does it make any difference? One of us has to keep his feet on the ground, his head out of the clouds. Gentlemen, we have a little surprise for you this evening. The management has induced a person to appear before you, a great student of the occult, perhaps the greatest magician of our time. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Dijon, the unsurpassed. For his first illusion this evening, the great Dijon will demonstrate before your eyes that which modern medicine has already accepted, hypnotism, as only Dijon knows it. And in keeping with the policy of the management, I am prepared to offer $50 to any person who can resist the power of Dijon's mind. Do I hear any volunteers? Oh, come now, folks. No one will be harmed. I'll personally guarantee that no one will be harmed. Nor will there be any after effects. As a matter of fact, psychologists claim that hypnotism corrects subconscious inhibitions. That gentleman there, how about you? You, sir, how about you? No, <laughs> no thanks, I, I think not. How about your lady friend? Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm much too self-conscious. And besides that, I'm not a good medium. No, I'm sorry. You should be sorry, lady, you're out fifty dollars. <laughs> ah, here's a lady, how about you? Young man, if you're speaking to me, it's changing your silly expression you better be doing. Oh, come now, why not? Because I'll not be making a public spectacle of myself, and you'll not be starting no arguments with me, neither. Okay, okay, lady, take the barsing clothes off. How about you? Oh, no, oh, no. Come on, you, you've got nothing to lose and $50 to gain. Well, I... That's right, that's the way to talk, no. right this way. Oh. Now, just turn around so the folks can see you. Well, there's nothing to be frightened about. By the way, what's your name? Jones. Nellie Jones. Oh, very nice name. Very nice girl. Now, tell me, have you ever had the honor of meeting Dijon before? No. He's absolutely unknown to you. Absolutely. And have you ever been hypnotized before? <laughs> Never in my life. Now, you see, folks, no possible chance for fraud or collusion. Now, young lady, if you let me take your coat. Thank you. Here we are. But first... You see, my friends, nothing here, nothing here, no tricks, no deception. This is merely a robe, a sacred robe acquired by Dijon from a monastery in Upper Tibet. Now, if you'll let me slip this over your shoulders. There you are, and pull it around you, so. And now, Miss Jones, 
Fijó. Look at me. Keep on looking at me. You're going to obey all my orders. I'm going to put you into a temporary state of rigidness. Your power to resist my will is vanishing. Your will is becoming my will. Slowly but surely. is, as you see, in a trance. Her mind and body subject to the will of her master. Chairs. Lift her up. No wires, no devices. The little lady is supported only by the tremendous power of that mental giant, Dijon, the unsurpassed. Mind is nothing but a stupid charlatan, that's all. You, you figure, get out. One performance enough, you are fired. Now, now, wait a minute, Alex. There's no sense in getting excited about this. That was an accident tonight. Tomorrow there'll be a new crowd. No crowd, maybe, but no magician. I have a spoken. I'm sorry. You should be pleased. You engineered this to make small of me in front of my wife. Dijon. You're crazy. You're, you must be losing your mind. Why would I deliberately try to break up your act? Didn't you? You're always so ready to blame someone else for your own mistakes. Tell me, please. No, Vicky. I'll tell you why you flopped out there a few minutes ago. Because you're clumsy and out of practice. It's your own fault and you know it. You've lost your touch, you're through, you're finished, you're washed up. Dijon. I'm sorry I had to do that, Vicky, but someone had to tell him.
means, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, stand up. Get your hands away from your pockets. All right, get the money. There it is. Take it. I don't want that chicken feed. I want that cigar box. Huh? You heard me? What did you do? Did you hypnotize him? Huh? Did you hypnotize him? Maybe I did. G -g Give me the police department. I got held up. Almost. I have taken the first step toward my goal. But if all this should only be a dream. No. I'm wide awake. But if that hold of men should only really have been frightened. Get your morning paper here. Read all about it. X-ray. Here's your morning paper, folks. Read all about it. Morning paper, mister? Say, that's a pretty snappy lighter you got there.
Another one. And another one. Now listen carefully. This is not a morning paper. This is an evening paper. An evening paper. Say it. Extra, read all about it in the evening paper here. Get your papers here, read all about it. Extra, read all about it in the evening edition. Hey, thanks, mister. Extra, today's evening paper. Extra, read all about it in the evening paper. Extra, read all about it in the evening paper here. Get your evening paper. Extra, read all about it. Get your evening paper. Get your evening paper. Hey, what's the matter with you? That's the morning paper. Are you right. sick or something? No, I ain't. You better sick. snap out of it. I got another guy that wants this spot. Yeah, yeah, sure. Not in the hypnotic state, it is subject to susceptible to suggestions which will in many cases be carried out faithfully at some given time after his release from the hypnosis. He will not know that he has responded to the suggestion and be totally unaware of the fact that he has obeyed a command dictated by the hypnotist. He must never attempt to use his great gift with cruel, sadistic, or evil design. Better have that man never been born. same boat. Both of our wives left us. Get this straight. Denise hasn't left me. She's dancing with a new partner, isn't she? That's show business. If you're trying to put some other kind of slant on it, forget it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. What are you trying to do? Find out where Vicky is? Victoria is living with Lucy, a girl she used to know on the west side. So you, uh, you managed to find that out. It was very simple. The expressman who called for her trunk told me. I also know that my charming wife turned into a songbird at the Romany Garden. You seem to, uh... You seem to know everything. I do. But I didn't come here to discuss this with you. At this moment, I'm interested only in you. What? Look at me. looking at me. You're going to do 
exactly as I tell you to. You're going to do exactly as I'm telling you. Get up. Follow me. Sit down. Take this. Next time on Hypnosis in the Media. I can honestly say... Honestly say... Well, say it then. Thanks for watching until the end. If you want to see more, just hit the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hypnosis in the Media. I'm Meg Register, a certified clinical hypnotherapist, as well as an advisor and co-producer of the series. If you're interested in learning more about hypnosis, I welcome you to contact me for a free phone consultation to find out if hypnotherapy can work for you.